Uh, it's been a great arrangement between uh, the Special Olympics and Stevenson University Athletics. It's, it's been an ongoing project as long as I've been here, which I think is going on five or six years. Um, it, it's a relationship that really works out well for both sides. It's one that I know we have a group of guys that really look forward to, to being involved in and really take the event very seriously and, and are quite honored to be asked to, you know, to attend year in and year out. You know, whenever you can give a student athlete here at Stevenson the, the perspective of, you know, some of the challenges that other people are, are going through physically, um, it, it's quite unique and it's an opportunity where, you know, I often wonder about community service, how much are we putting in as to how much we're, we're actually learning from it as well. So it's very much, you know, I, I think we get as much out of it as we put into it for sure. Um, and it's a very inspiring event. I think it allows our guys perspective on how lucky they in fact are to, to be able to compete at, at you know the highest levels of college athletics um, and seeing those that aren't as fortunate it, you know it's it, it's very inspiring and very humbling at the same time I think it's very unique to have um, members of so many different teams and, and club organizations attend. Um, I, I don't know that other schools are able to, to attract that cross-section of their campus culture to be involved in that. Um, but I think it speaks to the quality of the athlete that we have here, both club and varsity. But more importantly, I think it speaks to the quality of the individual that we have here at Stevenson. Um, there were non-athletes in attendance as well, which again, when you can touch on that large of a cross-section of, of students, um, as well as student-athletes, I think that, that speaks volumes to the character and the quality of the people that we have here at the university.